Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Steel Monotype run of EV Emerald. Last time, well, we beat up a guy with special needs. Seriously, I don't think I've ever seen the AI for Maxi shit the bed as hard as it did in that last battle. This camera up does have Ember, but no, it kept trying to use Magnitude on a flying type because Steel weak the ground, so I use Magnitude. What is this, Gen 1? Anyway, we go from one of the easiest battles of the run to, well, shortly, one of the most difficult. Flannery. Watson was annoying. Flannery is dangerous. This may take a while. Oh, and correction on my comment about return frustration being the only farmable but not perchable TMs in this game. In Emerald version, you can also get Focus Punch and Earthquake TMs to pick up. Now, on the other hand, I could also be sufficiently overleveled that it isn't too difficult, but the issue is overheat. And if that's boosted by Sunny Day, she could basically one-shot any of my Pokémon. I may end up having to do what I did against Watson and just buy a bunch of items to, well, buy my way to victory. Down you go. <clears throat> <clears throat> There's a lot more trainers in here than there were in Ruby and Sapphire. Which is, I think, par for the course for a lot of these gyms. Especially double battles, because one of the big complaints about Ruby and Sapphire was that it was a new gimmick, but it was also very heavily underutilized. Three hundred ninety-two degrees. Are we talking Fahrenheit, Celsius, or Kelvin? Another two down. Again, I'm gonna go for all the gym lead gym trainers in this gym, because you don't get to rebattle them later. And I want to make sure that I can take down Flannery's Pokemon quickly.
You think I don't know that? You were saying about willpower? The main reason I'm focusing on Laron right now is because, well, it's the closest to evolving. It evolves level 42. <clears throat> Although Metagross will not be far behind. And of course you're gonna waste a turn because of Detect. Oh, how I despise that move. And Protect. Just waste your time. But if y'all are gonna spam it, then I guess I can use it too. One more trainer. We'll see. Nope. Well, I need, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center anyway, just to heal. <clears throat> okay. get from you. Super Potion? Okay, we take those. And now let's go down here real quick. There's a couple of things we can get. One of them, we talk to this guy and you get a charcoal, which will boost you the fire... Well, it'll boost your fire type attacks. Damn it, I'm tongue-tied today. And now here we have an interesting option. We go for a Revival Herb. Which are, uh, basically max revives. Only you can buy them. We'll take them. The problem is they're bitter, so any Pokemon that's using, like, Return, you don't want to use it on. Or Pokemon you're trying to evolve via Friendship. Anyway, I'm gonna go and deposit the, uh, charcoal in, the, in my PC, and I will be back in a second. And we're back! So, let's get moving. Nope. Uh, wrong way. I think. Yes, yeah, this way. Then we go up here. Then we go up here. Up here. Up here. And I think we go here. And then, wait. Nope, that was the wrong way. Uh, I hate some of these gym puzzles. And it should be this one. And there we go! Now... Who do I want to lead off with? I think we're going to start with Aces High. That was the strategy I had in mind, was to spam double team and hope I get lucky, pretty much. 
We're gonna save. Again, if you're wondering about the really high time, it's because off camera I'm using the speed up so that way grinding isn't quite as painful. Hmm, you must be new here. Okay. With any luck, Curry I will shit the bed just as bad as Maxi's did, and just let me set up double team. Okay, that could be bad. It means if I do get hit by a fire type attack like overheat, it's gonna get even worse. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, we're not going to take any chances with that. I know what we're doing is kind of cheap, but under the circumstances, can you really blame me when her Numel does that? That we're not even onto her Torkoal. Thanks for wasting your turn. That's exactly what I needed. But yeah, I I don't like having to do this because I am relying pretty much entirely on luck, but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to one-shot their Pokemon reliably anyway. We're up to... Okay, you're gonna set up Sunny Day again, but... We're up to four double teams. I want to get it maxed out to six, just to minimize the odds of me getting hit at all. Because if I get hit at all with a sun Sunny Day boosted overheat, or even a regular overheat Torkoal, I think that might just knock it out. <clears throat> Oh, fuck you! You would! Well, the good news is, every time it does that, it reduces the special attack considerably, so... Actually, this works out in my favor. It means I can set out... It means I can set up fairly easily. But still, it's annoying. Yeah, I didn't think so. Heal again. And now we can actually begin to fight properly. Or. Hmm. You know what? If we're going to make this as unfair as we can, let's use some of these. I know, it's cheap. We're using the power of money again, but. At this point, again, we're dealing with. A major type disadvantage. Even with an overleveled team, she can one-shot several of my Pokemon fairly easily. This is the first playthrough in which I've actually used X attacks or X items in general in any appreciable numbers. I'm going to keep going until Sunny Day fades. Or until I max out attack, whichever comes first. That should max out attack. Oh, you actually managed to land a hit. Congratulations. And now it's time to go on the offensive. Nope, just go swift, guaranteed to hit. I've maxed out attack, it shouldn't be a problem.
Yeah, th I think this is over now. Because Renewal couldn't knock me out. And, of course, I just used X attacks. Is it cheap? Yes, it is. But... So is having a team of four Pokemon that can one-shot every member of my team. Even if they're ten levels higher. Bye-bye! And there goes the battle! Now we get overheat for ourselves. I don't know if I'll ever use this. I might put it on something like... I might put on Laron or something. I don't know. Because I'm rarely going to use special attacks, but if I need it... There... Well, there you go. Let's see, do you pick up any items? And now the rival shows up, but not to battle you, thankfully. That would be a real dick move. And you get the Go Goggles, which lets you go into the desert portion of Route 111. This lets you get to Mirage Tower, and also, well, get Sandstorm, and later on, Retro Rock. I'm really not sure why it was necessary to do that, but whatever. Anyway, we'll call it here. Like what you see, comment, subscribe, maybe check out my Rumble page. Next time, we're checking out the desert, and we'll see you all next time.